Welcome to the Cartoon Club. My name is Jack and in this episode I'll be showing you how to draw a cartoon rose. So it took me quite a quite a long time to figure this out, but we can break it down into two parts. The first part is the head of the rose. So what we're going to draw is draw a sort of pear pear-shaped um, pear-shaped outline like or like a vase so sort of narrow at the top and then quite large at the bottom so that would be the base of the head of the rose and so what we're going to do is we're going to go towards that top it's not finished on purpose but what we're going to do is we're going to inside right at the top we're going to draw a sort of oval shape so a squished circle and then inside that we'll split that into a few more lines so the oval will start at the top wrap around into the inside so we've got a line going round and in and then we'll do a line down and a line down so that's sort of part of the inside petal of the rose and then with this main line that we did a minute ago, we're going to continue that around and curve. What we're going to do is take that line, curve it around and bring it down towards the center, but off to the left a slight bit. So imagine a straight line going down. We're going to be slightly off to the left of that line. So it's a curve down there. And with roses, they all overlap the petals. So for the next petal, we're gonna to start towards that center again, and then we're gonna go up a slight bit, and we're gonna bring it around, curve it around. And then with this one, we're gonna bring it over the front of that line we did earlier. So round and in front. And that's now on the right side of that sort of line. What I'll do is I'll draw the line roughly in, so in that center. So it's to the right of this center line. And then with the two petals up here, we're gonna bring a line down and curve it slightly, just to show that there is a petal there. And then for the next petal, it's just working the same thing again. So we're gonna start left of this line we're going to bring it up, bring it round. This time it's now touching the outline that we drew earlier. So bringing it around, curving it, and then bringing it around and now to the left again. So it's sort of mirroring that last one that we did, the, the petal up here. And then we will do the same line, but this one we're going to start a little bit to the left we're not going to go up anymore we're going to go outwards so about the same distance up as that circle we did earlier that oval we're going to start there and then bring a longer line around so this is now the outside of the petal and with this one we're going to bring it round as a curve hook it up slightly and then bring it towards that center line but to the right again and then we're going to draw a another line so still in that same point we drew earlier a little bit lower down though and then we'll just curve that round and we'll meet up with that point that we, that last line that we drew. So this is now a big petal and it's now starting to open up. And we'll do the same on this side. So we'll start on the mid of that petal, curve round, big curve, curving it around, hooking it up slightly and then to the left of that line 
and the same thing. So we start at that point, go down slightly. Smaller curve. What we'll do is we'll meet up with that point. So we've got a curve, a curve and a curve, a curve and a curve. So with that, we need to balance it out with one more. So with this one here, we're gonna start on that line that we drew, on that pear-shaped, on that pear-shaped sketch that we drew. We're gonna start a line there. Another curvy line going past that point that we drew earlier. And this is the last petal. So with this one, we hook it all the way around. So that is the, that's now gonna be the bottom of the rose. And to make that one massive petal, we're gonna start with a line quite near the top up here. And we're gonna make a really big curve. So this is the, this is the really big petal. And with this one, same again, we're gonna try and join it up with that curve, that last line that we drew. So there's our really big petal on the left side. And we're gonna do one big petal on the right. But before we do that, we're gonna add one more petal up here. So it's the same level as these two. And then we're gonna start at that point that we did with the massive petal. We're gonna start there and then just hook it round slightly. So that's just another, another little petal to add. And then we're gonna add that big petal now. So we're gonna start a little bit higher up from that end point of the last petal we just drew. And we're gonna curve that around. And with this one, we're gonna finish it about halfway down that curve of the last petal that we drew. So curve it around, hook it, and finish it there. And then another little line here and hook it and join it up. So that is that now petal done. We'll add in a little line here. And then we'll join it up with that bottom. And so while we're on this stage here, we're just gonna erase some of the lines inside just to make it a bit cleaner. So we're gonna get rid of this line here so that's that petal now done. I'm gonna get rid of this little tiny line here. That's that petal. Clear that middle center line again. Get rid of all of that. We're gonna get rid of that little line here for this petal. So as you can see, that petal and that petal are the same. And this petal and this petal are the same. So with that side, we'll get rid of that one as well. And that is the sketching all cleared. So just make sure that all the petals are nice and clean. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to go onto the stem of the rose. So we drew that center line earlier. So imagine that line going down. We're gonna curve it slightly. That's the inside of the stem of the rose. And then we're gonna draw a little line coming off here. And with the leaf, what we're gonna draw is a bit of a teardrop shape. So we're gonna start wide at the bottom. And then bring it to a point at the top. So start bottom and curve it around and then bring it to a point. So there's that point there that we drew. And then inside, there's usually like a spine to the leaf. So we're just gonna draw this curved line here. 
And then off that spine, there's some more lines that we drew. So one little line comes off here. One line comes off there. Another one and another one. And then what we're gonna draw is one more, a little bit higher up. So it's the same process again, just one line coming off. We're gonna draw that teardrop shape of ours. So start wide, curve, bring it to a point. There's that one done. We'll just draw that spine of the leaf. And then one line, two line, three line, four line. And then inside, what we're gonna do to make this a little bit thicker, we're gonna add in some lines either side of this one we drew a minute ago. Making sure we follow that same direction that that line was following. But all it's doing is just making the stem a little bit thicker. And we'll add in a slight bigger line to there. So there you go, that is the sketching done. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to now ink this entire thing with a Sharpie pen just to clean it up. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so that is the flower all inked now. So it's looking a lot cleaner. Um, and that is because I've also erased all of the sketch lines while I was off screen. So now all I have to do is color it. Um, I will color it off screen, but if I can stop right now and say thank you for watching this video, if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon um, to get any notifications that come through. Yes, um, if you have any more suggestions on things to draw, please drop it down in the comments as well. And I will see you next time. Thank you very much.